Hello, welcome back any and everyone. This is Lynn and Otter here to do uh here to continue Burrows. I I never I didn't really I don't have a special way to say the title like I've started doing for the other visual novels because I started doing that long after I finished uh you know or got caught up with the last update of Burrows, but um, it, it updated. I just updated it now. They, they've uh, continued Ken's path. I'm freaking excited. I mean, holy cow. But I like to skip it this time. Ooh, we're ready to go. <laughs> I'm actually really excited. I literally just got done saying that um, 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 Socially Awkward was becoming my favorite visual novel. I guess I, I need to errata that and say that it's the favorite that I was playing uh, currently. But truth be told, uh, Burroughs has been amazing. I've really loved the story, the writing, the characters, and I, I hope I can get back into the flow of how I was doing some of the voices because, you know, it's been a while. I'm not saying I was ever really good, but I, I was really enjoying how I was doing them. And uh, so we're going to see. Man, it's so good. Okay, we're not going to skip this, though. We're going to watch it again. Together. Together. But while we're getting caught up, I'm going to let my laptop cool with the fan, so you might hear that. Sorry. Not gonna start the timer just yet yeah when I found it I know I've been gone for a while like I've you know I said that the past couple of videos now but when I found out that um when I found out that this was a uh, back mm, mm, mm. I was so excited I don't know what the quality of like mainstream AAA visual novels are, but I mean Burroughs, this team, you guys, immaculate, amazing. I'm wondering if the lyrics mean anything. This is wrong. The way she's looking at me. I I'm not supposed to be here. Oh man, this is so she can feel it. She's calling out for a me that doesn't exist. God help me. <laughs> yes, it started. I wasn't sure if I maybe I'd misdownloaded it. Woo, I'm excited. <clears throat> I, I mean, she exits the stage as the musicians start to gather their equipment. The crowd still buzzes with murmurs of excitement long after the performance has ended. Uh, was I just imagining things? Uh, no. She looked too much like. Wow, what a show! I'm right there with you, Colt. Wait, Colt? <laughs> no, sorry. I jump, a squeaky yet comfortably familiar voice piercing through the fog. <laughs> y yeah, oh, she was really good. <laughs> Gotta say, I wasn't expecting such a quality act from a little town like this. I can see why this place is crawling with critters every night. Another group starts setting up on the stage, 
playing some light dinner music as the guests resume their conversations. I scan the crowd, but it's too dim to make out any familiar faces. But eventually my eyes land on my phone that doesn't have the timer set, so I'll go ahead and do that. Colt keeps giggling to himself, humming a song over and over. Say, were you and that woman already acquainted, son? N no! No, I, I mean, <clears throat> why do you ask? <laughs> he scratches his head and looks at Colt, who's, who shrugs. It's just, she, she, sort of, she sort of looked right at you at the end. Like she was singing to you specifically. So it wasn't just me. It's hard to explain. I just got the feeling we'd met before, that's all. But you just said you hadn't. I, I don't want to get into it right now, okay? I need time to think. I suddenly feel dizzy, and Jesse holds me steady. Hey, you feeling okay? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. He reaches for me. He reaches for me, but Jesse brushes his hand away, shaking his head. You don't gotta tell us anything if it's, if it's a private matter. Let's mosey back to our room, okay? I nod, unsure if I'll be able to sleep with all these thoughts racing through my head. Well, ace, you a sight for sore eyes. It's, I hope it's a... Oh, gravelly. Gravelly. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> well, well, ain't you a sight for sore eyes? A gravelly voice stops me dead in my tracks. Oh, frack. <laughs> it's him again. Oh, okay, that's not the voice I gave him before. <clears throat> well, ain't you a sight for sore eyes? <laughs> oh, whoops, I'm <laughs> backing up too much. I was like, what? <sighs> Glad to see you made it in one piece, boss. It's dangerous around these parts. He tips his hat towards Colt and Jesse, smirking deviously. You never know what kind of delinquents might be lurking around the corner. Pardon? Oh, jeez. The husky chuckles under his breath, taking off his shades to give us a once-over. Dude, his eyes. I guess those are regular husky eyes. <laughs> My apologies. It appears we haven't been introduced. You can call me Frank. He flicks his badge. Officer Frank. And y'all? Colt gulps as Colt gulps as Jesse moves in between them, puffing out his chest. Name's Jesse. Little one's Colt. We escorted the possum here on his request. Frank's eyebrows shoot up. He shakes his head, seemingly betrayed. Huh. What? Gray, 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 gray. And I offered you a safe ride, too. Didn't your mama ever teach you not to talk to strangers? Ah, didn't yours ever teach you not to judge a book by its cover? We're not gangsters, officer. Strange. I don't recall accusing y'all of any such thing. The rodent doth protest too much, methinks. Ah, Mustard! The two start growling at each the two start growling at each other, and Jesse pushes Colt away, taking a deep breath before replying. <clears throat> Listen, mister, we're not here to do anyone any harm. I can show you the license and registration for our vehicles. They're parked out front. ID says Texas, but the plates say Cali, see? He whips out his wallet. He whips out his wallet. Franks takes the bait, grumbling as he scans over the tiny plastic card. Now, I don't know what personal grievances you have against bikers, but we're both properly registered with the Los Angeles Motor Club. I can write down their number if you need a check. Yeah, there's no need. It checks out. He hands Jesse his he hands Jesse's ID back. Colt sticks his tongue out at Frank, secretly flipping him the bird while still mostly obscured by the broad otter. <laughs> Way to go, Papa Papa Jesse. Well, they say you are the company you choose, Gray. Still, glad to see you took my recommendation to heart. Yeah, 
It's a nice place, all right. How long are you stay? Y'all staying? I'd love to compare rooms. Huh. Group as big as yours. I'd reckon you got one of the executive suites, yeah. Third floor. I'm really not in the mood to get cross-examined. I feel like every word we say to this guy is just building up his case against Colt and Jesse. Not to mention Ken still at large. <laughs> Actually, I'm really tired. I was just headed to bed, so... He nods, pulling out a notepad to write something down. Bastard. Oh, I understand. Rest does it body good. Oh, but before you go, I'd like to introduce y'all to my little lady. Huh? He whistles at the person sitting behind him. Excuse me? <laughs> the fox jumps, having been in the middle of a shoving a fistful of chips and salsa down her gullet. Oh, that was who I saw. Thought I mentioned it last time. Oh, baby. Oh, wait. Oh, baby. Come here, darling. <laughs> baby. Ah, one moment, dear. These free refills on chips are still valid for another three minutes. I'm sorry, I cannot do women voices. <laughs> Especially southern women. Or actually, no, maybe only southern women. Oh, wait a minute. That voice. Where'd you pick her up at? The precious little thing was looking for a ride to a town a few miles back. Said her boyfriend dumped her and left her to fend for herself. Oh my god. <laughs> It's the tearing me apart, Lisa people. I was just finishing my last patrol and found her moments from collapsing. Can y'all, can y'all, can you believe anyone would abandon such a precious creature? Hmm. Didn't you just lay into us for picking up Gray? No, <laughs> it ain't worth it, Colt. <laughs> what the? The fox punctuates the end of her meal with a long burp before demurely patting her mouth with the edge of the tablecloth. I'm coming, dear. Wait, yeah, how'd I do her voice earlier? Don't you want to go all the way tonight or not? <laughs> Even though she's not British. She stands up and her weight is immediately apparent, almost eclipsing Frank with the length of her ears alone. I feel like I've seen them before. And that forced falsetto, the jaunty hips. Wait, is this going to be some massive character review? Wait a second. Uh. Gray? What in the what? J John? His hand shushes, shushes me before I can blow his cover. Frank cocks his head curiously. Hold up. Who, who the hell is John? Or Gene? Or <laughs> Gene? Or John? You, you didn't. Shut the cup. Shush, shush. It's John. I can't believe it. <clears throat> he regains his composure and swings around, batting his eyelashes coyly at the confused canine. <laughs> Oh, this is just an old colleague of mine. John was my old modeling name, you see. Oh, of course. Silly me. Oh, what an esteemed career my little lady's had. First journalism school and now modeling. And you're still working on that, uh, getting that uh, nursing degree, right? <laughs> Just making up a whole backstory for himself. Oh, where do you find the time? Oh, you know me, always on the go. <laughs> uh, you did, didn't you? He stares daggers at me, making a throat cut in motion. <laughs> Actually, I'd like to think, take some time to catch up with my dear old friend. Why don't you head to our room and run a bath for us, sweetums? He rubs his knee against Frank's inner thigh and his tail starts wagging. <laughs> Anything for you, sugar. Oh my gosh. He tips he tips his hat at us before throwing a handful of bills on the table and scurrying toward the stairs. <sighs> You're disgusting. You know that? 
<laughs> I'm fabulous. Uh, someone you know, Gray? Oh, who's that tall drink of seawater? Looks like you've been busy as well, lover boy. Oh, I freaking swear to God. I try to compose myself and lean into discreetly whisper to the other two. Oh, sorry, but I'd like some privacy right now. Can, can y'all head up to the room and make sure Kane hasn't ruined the place? Uh, I guess. All right, but I want to see you back in ten minutes, or we'll come looking for you, okay? Something ain't right about that Frank fella. He's not wrong. I nod and shoo them away, preparing to face my greatest adversary yet. Okay, I have so many questions. As do I. Like, how did a homely little thing like you manage to snag two handsome fellows while I get stuck with a wannabe gumshoe? Hey, Frank looks like an alright guy. Are you freaking serious? Does it ever turn off? Or are you always like this? Medical science is yet to find an answer. Regardless, I can fill you in on what I know. He explains coming to our apartment, finding the note, going to confront Charles, but finding Virgil instead, and ultimately ending up a few miles away from town. And then there I was, standing in a field in the middle of who knows where. At first I thought I had been kidnapped by mobsters, but then I remembered I'd already paid them off for the month. Uh-huh. Once I was done making sure I still had both my kidneys, I came across a little house. One was hanging a laundry on the wire, and then and it was then that I knew I must have been sent to Oz. How so? He, gest he gestures to his outfit. Have you seen how garishly the women here the women here dress? Where's the elegance, the grace? You don't possess either of those qualities. Anyway, I knew that I needed to put together a look to hitchhike my way to town, so I borrowed some things once her back was turned and voila <laughs> he does a twirl his dress coiling around his legs like a movie star <sighs> it's impressive considering you threw it together on the spot I'll give you that I feel like I'm losing Gray's voice a bit I know he's from I think he's from New Orleans and I couldn't do a specific proper New Orleans, New Orleans accent for him to save my life <laughs> <clears throat> <sighs> the cover of night does a lot of work for girls like me Thankfully, Frank opted for the lover's suite, so I'll only be seen by candlelight during the deed. But, John, you can't... I said he was a great character, and he is. But, John, you can't hoodwink people if he's expecting, you know... And then you, you gotta... Uh, uh, the deed? John, please tell me. He closes, <clears throat> he closes the distance between us, those golden irises burning with anger. You... Don't get to tell me how I live my life, Ripoye. What? Ripoye? I don't know. Did you forget why I put myself through this in the first place? Oh, his grip around my wrist tightens and I wince. When you signed the lease, you entered into a covenant with both me and the bank. If you don't pay the rent, where do you think the money for the property taxes come from, hmm? You could have done things properly. We could have worked out an agreement. But now, and I pull my hand free and he looks at me up and down, shaking his head in disgust. Ugh, now it's personal. Ugh, you're insane. Now you're trapped here with me, all because of your stupid greed. Trapped, you say? You don't exactly seem like you're trying to escape. Er. Uh, what? Oh, what? Did you fall for those two Max Horn de Cure? And now you're fine and dandy staying here? No, oh, it, it's not like that. Oh, there's another person. Can. He needs my help. Oh, that does it. He's, he gets three men and doesn't pay his rent? Ah, oh, Gary Krell. Uh, John, can you listen to me for 60 seconds without interjecting? Hmm. I'll try. Uh, Virgil is dangerous. He has powers that are beyond my understanding. He sent me from New Orleans to Texas, and then from Oklahoma to North Dakota, all within a 48-hour time period. 
He's keeping us here by making the roads loop back into themselves. Whatever he told you is probably a lie, and he's probably watching us right now. So instead of worrying about me, you should be worrying about the situation you just got yourself into. He's finally quiet. John is used to living in a world where he's running the show, so he must feel pretty powerless right now. Gray, you saw her, right? The singer? I freeze. It, yeah. That was supposed to be her, right? Simone? I don't know. But it wasn't quite her. She was older and had different fur, but that voice was unmistakably Simone's. Maybe you're right. Something freaked up is happening here, but that doesn't mean you're off the hook. John, you ran away again. Don't you remember what she said? That's what hurt the most. I don't need to hear this from you, of all people. I pull away and head towards the stairs. Gray! I'm not going anywhere until I get that rent, you hear me? <laughs> great, great character motivation, John. If I have to bring you back to New Orleans kicking and screaming, I'll do it! I'll wave behind me, too angry to turn around. Like this story needed more complications. I knock on the door and wait for Ken to undo all the locks, yawning into my hands. Ugh, welcome back, sleepyhead. Ah, you missed a great show. Yeah, I could hear it just fine from here. I see Jesse and Colt sitting on the couch. Were they waiting this whole time? Ah, it doesn't matter. That cop's on our trail now. We shouldn't leave the room until he checks out. Oh, what, you two? Ugh, that a-hole hasn't changed at all. Ah, uh, you know him? Hmm. Ah, uh, Ken, we're all being scrutinized now. It could be good to share information. Hmm. Ugh, save your breath, Gray. None of us can trust each other. That much is clear. I, I, I'm not keeping anything from you. It's just hard to explain. Ah, we get it. Trust us. He puts a hand on my shoulder. But making the effort to try is all we ask. We have to rely on each other. <laughs> Thanks. I promise that tomorrow will be a better day. I just need to settle my thoughts. I cut myself off with, that, with another yawn, and the group agrees to settle down for the night. Let me just cover the mic a bit more. I'm stop starting to warm up. <clears throat> so, which room are you staying in, Gray? Uh, huh? Well, I look at Colt, unable to get the image of him kissing me out of my mind. Hmm? It's just... I look at Ken. Remember what happened the last time we shared a room together? What? I think I'll sleep on the couch tonight. Oh, all right. There's a spare blanket in our room. I'll fetch it for you. <laughs> Coward. What? You, you assaulted me, Ken. <laughs> ah, shut up. You have some explaining to do tomorrow, cat. His fur bristles and he looks away, bashfully. Oh, whatever. Ken darts into his room, slams the door behind him. Uh, serves him right. I kick off my shoes and collapse onto the plush sofa, angling the throw pillows to prop my head so up so I don't snore. Oh, jeez. Colt puts out the fireplace, coughing as black smoke billows out, for, out of the pit. Jesse tosses, uh, Jesse tosses Colt a knit blanket and he drapes it over me like a tablecloth. I can already feel myself slipping. I... I'm sorry about earlier. We'll talk about it tomorrow, okay? Mm, okay. 
Good night, Gray. I. He doesn't finish. Turning off the lights before scurrying back to his room. <laughs> what a little spaz. Uh, maybe John's right to be jealous of me. That freak's probably getting railed by Frank right now. Oh, jeez. What a way to end it. <laughs> Although, I'm honestly probably going to go into another recording pretty soon, because I, I want to do a lot. I'm probably going to upload this uh, one episode right after the other, because it's kind of like a, a double feature, a double premiere for the... I don't know, I guess I want... I kind of want to call it Season 2, basically Season 2. I don't know. I mean, it's an update, so... Yeah. I don't know. And maybe we'll start the next, ep the next episode by seeing exactly what Gray's talking about. We'll see. But, um, for now... Oh, where did I even leave this? Right here. Sunday, March 12th. Or, uh, maybe right here? What do I, say? What do I usually save? Uh, let's just do it right here. Number one, page one, right there. <laughs> Doesn't want to get lost. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me and tuning in. I really hope you liked it. I'm, uh, you know, I'm really excited to get back into more burrows. So we're gonna we're gonna have a lot more episodes of this. It's gonna be part of the regular schedule. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um, thanks for everybody again for being so patient. Like I said, getting back into the swing of things. Keeping out for more content. Uh, subscribe, like. It really does help out. Uh, definitely helps keep me motivated when I have some of these ruts. I've, I've been pretty busy, but I really do want to keep going. But uh, thanks a lot. I just appreciate anybody that's enjoying. If you're enjoying, <laughs> I hope you are. But I'm still having fun anyway. Uh, so thanks again. Uh, tune in next time if you, to follow. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so out of practice with these outros. All I want to say is that I'm having a good time. I hope you really enjoyed it. And um, just take care. Till next time. Bye now. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma.